Um, credit to Seattle and uh, Coach Hazlitt. Uh, they had the same circumstances coming into this game as we did. Um, you know, it was vitally important for both teams, and they came into our house and they took one from us. So uh, credit to them and, uh, and their football team. As far as us is concerned, you know, a uh, little sloppy in the first half, not quite the discipline team that I wanted to see. Um, but we hung in there. It was 14-9. to nine. So, you know, we're still in a good spot. Um, it was just who was going to be the best team in the second half. And quite frankly, we just we kind of fell short on all areas, defensively, offensively, and special teams in the second half. Um, you know, I, I thought our juice wasn't really where it needed to be as well. You know, that's on me. Um, you know, we had a great week of practice, too. And, I, you know, I've been in them weeks. I've been in them weeks when you have great weeks of practice and, you know, you have big wins, you play well, and you also you're, you scratch your head, how is this possible? How does this happen? Uh, and I've been in weeks where you had crappy weeks of practice and you show up and, and you play out of your mind, out of sight. So uh, today was one of those games, you know, just disappointing uh, really from start to finish. You know, I just, I just expected a little different team today. Uh, really had everything in control for us as far as what we wanted to do in this game and what we needed to do as far as a team and win and, and handle our business. And now, you know, it's up to the football gods. We have to go out and win number one next week. And then there's a bunch of tiebreaker scoring things that we have to, you know, figure out what they are before the week started. You guys saw, obviously, Seattle kicked the field goal at the end. Clearly, they know the rules. Uh, they got to score points, and it's gonna it's gonna be that kind of a tiebreaker, being that we split the series for the week. So, or excuse me, for the season. So, uh, just uh, I got to do a better job getting these guys ready for big games, big moments. The one thing I can tell you is we've been resilient. And we'll bounce back which is great, but in this moment, it hurts. Nobody wants to lose a game. I feel bad for those, uh, for the players in the locker room and I, uh, you know, wish for different results, but, you know, got to do a better job just preparing them for the big moment games, the, the games that matter. You know, this is something you put yourself in, uh, in a situation where you work the entire season training camp to get to this moment, to have meaningful games at the end. I've been there in my career and you have to be hyper-focused. You have to be locked in. You have to be able to do your job at a consistent level, not a great level, consistent level. And today we didn't have that consistency and it showed up uh, It showed up in this game and that was the reason why we lost. But credit to Seattle for coming into our place and taking one from us. Coach, what, what do you have to do to bounce back? Is there something that you have a plan already in mind to go for? <clears throat> yeah, well, it's a short week, number one. Uh, we got some guys banged up. We had some guys banged up coming in. We're a little shorthanded on some of the positions. I give a, players a lot of credit for, you know, really just kind of, uh, you know, pushing through a little bit, try to help us. Um, you know, the, the plan is we're going to give them off tomorrow. We're going to look at the tape as a, as a staff. Um, we know Orlando's going to come in and give us a really good game. Um, and we got to practice the same way we've been practicing. We just have to execute better in the moments. It's a big moment game for us next week. You know, we have to win number one, but we're, it's out of our control. So on what, what the results will be as far as the playoff situation, uh, we're going to do our very best to, to be prepared. We always are. It's just a matter of you got to show up and do it. And, and that's everybody, myself, the staff, players. Uh, when our numbers are called like today, I tell them every week, when your numbers called, make plays and show up. And just today, you know, Seattle just was better than us in those categories. So um, yeah, the plan is to, you know, stay the course. Don't get over dramatic, over sensitive. You know, we have a good team, but uh, you know, it mattered the most today, and we didn't show up, and 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 they did. So we we have to be better. We'll bounce back. Uh, this team fights. This team is ultra competitive, but uh, in, in today's contest, I just feel like for us, you know, I just expected a different team, and uh, we didn't get that today. Coach, you mentioned you wanted to try and get Gary Jennings the ball. He's had a little bit. Yeah. Of yeah, he brings a lot of juice for us, man. You know, we're, we're constantly like, get our best players to football. Uh, we had a package where it was, uh, you know, ro no running back, and we're able to use him and Stevie in the backfield, bring him in motion, bring him back off, keep him outside in empty packages, and uh, just try to get the football in his hands. I mean, it's a pretty good job by him running the football, uh, you know, taking the handoff. It's not easy. You know, running backs, quarterbacks work the whole season. We have a period every day where we just work on, you know, quarterback, running back exchange. So. Uh, I could tell he was a little gas. You know, he's a guy that wants a lot of plays. You know, you see him kind of, you know, holding his uh, hands on his hips. But he fought through and, and did a good job. And again, we're trying to get our best players the football. Marcel's a guy right now. 
he's obviously a different player when he's healthy and he goes get the football. He's a big target. You don't have to be really, you know, uh, pinpoint accurate when you're throwing him the football, which is huge. Uh, but a guy like Hakeem and Darius, you know, uh, we got to find ways to get the ball. We got too many weapons that get shut down in certain situations, not move the chains. We just have enough plays today. I was a little disappointed on the fact that we didn't convert as many first first downs as we did. Um, you know, when you're talented, we're, the way I think we are, I just feel like you know, it's just a heck of a job by Seattle's defense. But for us, you know, we, when we have things out there, we got to take advantage of. But from Gary's standpoint, just trying to get our best players the football. Yeah. Is there, a, is there a way that you want to play or you want yeah. to be in that moment? No yeah, you know, I mean, it's their last opportunity, these players, to go out there and, and really put a, a bow on their resume. You know, there is a bigger picture for a lot of these guys, and I want them to reach their goals of whatever that may be, getting to the next level, getting to the next league. But we do understand that there's team goals as well, and I think it's ultimate, ultimately – the, the, the deciding factor on why we're, we're doing well as individuals and we're put in the forefront is because we're winning games as a team. As, as When the team is good, you're winning football games, you're put in the limelight, that gets those eyeballs on those individuals that are really standing out and playing. Uh, this crowd's been great. You know, I'm, I'm disappointed the last couple of weeks we just haven't been able to start the way we have. You know, they're loud on third down. I've asked them to do that. I've asked them to show up. And, I'm, you know, it hurts me that we, you know, we couldn't go out there and, and clinch it. Uh, today, but you know we have another chance. I want them to hang with us. We have one more game. We need them. They're vital. But uh, you know, ultimately, players make plays, good or bad or indifferent. We have to go out there and make more plays. If we do that, we'll win. We'll be fine. But when we let teams hang around and and give them a chance, uh, you know, they're going to take advantage of it. Especially a good team like Seattle and Orlando is not a team that's the same team we scrimmaged uh, in training camp. They're a much better team. T Bucks got a great job with them. They fight. They fight in every game they've been in the last four or five weeks. And uh, it's not going to be a pushover. So we just cannot, we can't go out in the field and just expect to, you know, good things to happen for us. We have to go take it and earn it. And if we don't, we'll get beat. So uh, that, that's the message. That's, that's what we need to do. And, um, you know, hopefully we can, you know, we can do it for one more game and, and give it our best and, and see where the chips lay, uh, you know, after that.